Hey everyone, it's Jordan. Today we're going to be doing a what's in my bag tag. And I would like to thank Maxie for requesting this. So thank you girl. And let's just get right into it. So today, um, this is my bag. And this is a Rebecca Minkoff. Um, and I got this on sale at Nordstrom's um, during the summer actually. So I'm not sure if you can still get it but I would check um, Nordstrom's, Nordstrom's Rack and the Re Rebecca Minkoff uh, website if you're interested um, but I'm just gonna dig right in and the first thing that I'm gonna pull out is the matching wallet so as you see that there it is the exact same which is kinda strange for me because I tend to not buy the matching wallet and the matching bag I often have a different wallet from the bag and um, it doesn't really bother me but this time I just wanted to have it matching and I wanted a smaller wallet anyways because I usually have a bigger one but um, for me smaller wallets are more efficient for school and um, yeah it's a little bit messy in there um, tons of receipts but um, yeah it's definitely very, this kind of wallet is very sufficient for school because I keep, there's three slots, so I keep my IDs in one section, my uh, medical insurance in another section, and my uh, debit, maybe any cash that I have in the middle, and it works out really well. Uh, the next thing I have is my inside out notebook, and uh, yes, I am such a child. Um, which you will learn, um, learn that very quickly about me is that I love Disney. I, I, I'm a child, you know, so. But in the bag it has, every day is full of emotions. And you have all the different characters there. And I just keep this, I, um, to, I have, uh, letters in here, in here that I have to mail. It, and it takes me forever to mail letters because I, I don't have stamps yet and, I don't know, it's just kind of out of my way, but I I will mail these letters sometime, hopefully. But um, I also just keep the notebook section just in case I have any ideas that I want to jot down for videos or anything, any idea, even if it's for school or something. Um, but um, I got this just for that, and I got this at um, Target for a dollar so in that dollar section so girl boy whoever go get you some because this is a great deal for an inside out notebook um the next thing that i have is my keys um normal i have wonder woman and i got these oh sorry i don't mean to blind you but i got this wonder woman keychain from the surprise box things that they do that they do for marvel and for disney and you usually find them at hot topic and such um but i yeah i put this one on my keys because i bought so many that i'm kind of, kind of ashamed to admit that i did waste my money on it um, it just gets so addicting and so fun to collect all the characters and me and my brother did it um, during the summer so it was very addicting uh, and it, it was just a fun thing to do. Um, the next thing I do that I have on here that's kind of interesting is this um, keychain that my grandma got for me um, and it's supposed to protect you and keep you safe and all of that. And she got it in Hawaii because she lives there. Um, but I keep it everywhere I go. You know, I bring it with me. That's why it's on my keys so I don't forget it. And I I really like it. It's so pretty. So you can see that. Um, but yeah, that's it for my keys. And the next thing I have is my beauty bag. And this I got for free from Sephora when I went to... Um, one of the events and it was one of the stuff they were giving away um, but when I dig right into it I have the this first thing is a La Prairie um, uh, what is this called pa uh, powder and um, what's funny is that <laughs> oops it fell anyway uh, what's funny is that I you know I took French 
for three years and nothing has stuck like I know I didn't say this right or with the right accent or anything and nothing sticks and I feel like by the time we are learning languages we're too old some of us are too old that doesn't it just doesn't stick anymore and I wish I um, started learning French when I was younger because I could probably be speaking French to you right now if I started when I was younger um, but yeah I'm rambling now but this is La Paris and it's a really good compact foundation um, the next thing is the BTZ uh, no limits uh, this is smoothing and finishing cream and it's basically just for like throughout the day if your hair gets frizzy then you just put some of this on and then bam it looks refreshed and I, I love it especially because it's not curly now because I straightened it um, but I have naturally curly hair and this is perfect because my hair is so incredibly frizzy but this keeps it refreshed throughout the day um, the next thing that I have is, is the Josie Marion um, intensive hand cream excuse me and I got this at um, I got this at Nordstrom's but it was uh, a sample like I got it for free and um, yeah no it doesn't smell like anything but um, it's really good quality and I love the packaging I don't know if you can see it um, but it's super cute super good just to throw in your purse the next thing I have is this nail file and oh yeah I use it so much right look at my short nails um, but yeah I don't know I have it in there um, the next thing I have is the NYX soft matte lip cream and this is in the color uh, Prague and what's funny is is that this is so it's such good quality it's so smooth on your lips and it's so uh, moisturizing yet um, semi mattifying at the same time and I believe it was around six dollars you can probably still get it but I this is the only next product that I have and I know that they're good quality and they have such so many colors and so many varieties of formulas but this is the only next product that I have which is shocking to me um, but I definitely need to get some more um, the next product is this Tarte Enchanted uh, Lip Tint. You can see it's very old. I could barely read the label off of that. Um, but it was one of the very first lip products that I got from Sephora. Um, and it's, it's kind of like a glossy tint. Um, which is very nice on the days that you just kind of want to whip something on uh, without having to go through the process of a liner and like a primer and all that stuff is just really fast while providing excellent color. Um, another product that I have in here is the Too Faced Melted uh, in Melted Ruby like this and I'll swatch it for you guys. Um, I absolutely love the Melted line. It is so easy to apply. If you are new at makeup, I would recommend getting this. This is incredibly easy to apply. Um, it's this one right here. So many different colors, unique, cl classic, and it does last pretty well throughout the day. Um, I just love this brand, and especially this um, line in particular. Um, the next thing in here... Um, I have is the Kat Von D li um, liquid lipsticks and this one is in Exorcism. Um, I'll swatch it for you and I love this brand as well. It is easy to put on because of the applicator. This is uh, one down here. It's perfect for fall and I'll show you the applicator again. I don't think I showed you. Um, it's very classic. Um, but you can use a pointed end around your lips and then the flatter end um, on the inside and it does last all day. Um, you got to be careful about reapplying it though because you will eventually have to reapply it. Um, you have to be careful about how many times you reapply it because eventually it will dry out and it will be gross. Um, but I would say that you would only have to reapply this maybe 
like after you put it on, maybe once or twice. Uh, depends how long you're out, but usually I only, I only reapply it once. And she just has so many fantastic colors. Perfect for fall. I recommend this color so much. And again, it's an exorcism. And then, of course, random, random candies in my makeup bag. That's just Jordan for you. The next thing that I have is receipts, a Nordstrom's receipt for this bag, funny enough. And then I have a receipt for Red Lobster. It was very old. I have, this is, oh wow, it's September. Oh, that was last month. I, I feel like it's January or something. Um, next is my second glasses. Um, usually I have my black ones on. Um, and this is my second pair. Um, it's a really nice pink color. And I just keep it in here just in case that I need something. I need to read something just in case or when I'm driving and I forget my black ones. Um, but yeah, this is super fun. And I don't use it as much because it's... Um, because it's a color and I, I like it to kind of match. Um, but it's still amazing. And it's really nice to have a second pair. Um, this one, uh, I didn't tell you the brand. Um, it's it's called Over Matcha, I think, um, if you're wondering. And it is was actually pretty cheap compared to my black ones. Um, so yeah, if you can, I would always recommend getting a second pair of glasses if you do wear glasses that um, looks different compared compared to the other one, just to like kind of keep keep a variety going, especially if you don't wear contacts. So I don't like contacts. Next thing I have NAU uh, ice pick. I do go to Northern Arizona University, um, and I need it for my car. Um, but it was free, so I thought I'd grab it. Why not? Um, the next thing I have is another lip product. Surprise, surprise. I wore this yesterday, actually. It's a ColourPop uh, Ultra Matte Lip in Succulent. Um, I absolutely love this brand of lipsticks. I, I feel like I, I'm saying that for for all the lipsticks I put out. But, you know, I am I bought them, so why wouldn't I like them? Um, but here it is. Showing up more red on camera, but it it's more of like a peachy orange color. Um, but it is super nice. I would say that come in comparison to these two, um, this one is more drying than this one. So definitely, definitely make sure that your lips are moisturized and healthy. Um, and I I wouldn't recommend wearing this brand of lip colors during the drier months during the winter um, just because lips usually get chapped anyways um, and you wouldn't and you wouldn't want to add a mat on top of that um, the next thing I have is um, icebreakers mints in wintergreen these are my favorite mints um, I just pop them in every time um, after I eat or you know anything like that um, I like mints better than gum, I would say, you know, because gum, it's like hurts your jaw or especially if you're in high school or, or, low, or lower than that, um, you can't chew gum. So mints are a great way to still get that uh, fresh gum feeling in your mouth, um, but it will, it will go away after a while. I, I feel like it took a long time to explain mints to you, but you get my point. Um, the next thing that I have is a free pen from the parking shuttle services. I I hate NAU parking. The next thing I have is wabam. Oh, wrong way. Wabam. And I got this at the Renaissance Festival um, here in Phoenix, and I just love it. Um, it's a cute dragon, so fierce, um, and I keep it in my bag because I am, I get easily hot all the time, and you think I'm over exaggerating, like I'm not, I'm constantly, constantly sweating, so 
easiest way to solve that is to carry a fan around with me so I'm not as hot um, where I go. And, um, you know, I may look a little weird, just like, just, you know, pose, 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 you know, but, you know, honestly, it's for my comfort. Um, I don't really, I try not to pay attention to other people, so it does look a little weird, but it's an amazing idea. If you have the same problem as me, get a fan. And the last thing in here, I believe, is I'm a woman. I have a uterus. And that's it. That's everything that's in my bag. Nothing else. Um, I hope you had a fun time watching this. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.